so good afternoon uh, so first of all i would like to thank money life foundation for organizing this event and giving us a platform to discuss on these points so uh, while sucheta and debashish spoke about the investment part which means you have money and where to invest now i am going to talk about the other side when you don't have money but you want to spend okay so so we will talk about uh, the other parts so maybe it could be interesting uh, to some of you uh, that you don't have money but you have requirements to uh, spend so uh, and so the way i thought we will structure this event and uh, we could have uh, interactive session and have some question answers so the way i have structured few slides is what is credit why we need credit in what scenarios and what a lending institution whenever you go for uh, taking a loan what a lender looks at when they are giving you loan so and then who actually what is your credit score because you must be hearing about uh, credit report credit score so what is it what impacts your credit score why should you take your credit score why should you know what is your credit score so i'm going to deliberate on that so i have put up some slides but we could have a question answer session or uh, have some interactive session also so uh, is credit important so everyone uh, needs money to fulfill aspirations now if we uh, uh, more in most of the cases and i can see young crowd here uh, cash at hand is mostly not enough because we are always looking at something more okay so credit is a great tool to help you afford what you cannot okay now uh, you have two choices whether you pay cash or postpone your dreams or you avail credit so we are here talking about availing credits okay so now continuing on the thought so uh, what a credit means that you are actually buying something now but are going to pay later so which could be a housing loan or a personal loan it could be installment loan even your credit card usage because you spend now and then you pay later while there are lot of uh, i mean uh, myths around the which uh, some of the things which sucheta had spoke about that not paying on time and things like that so it is very very important to know all those things but it's actually the credit part of it and basically you are using when you don't have money uh, having the revolving credits even bills to pay like your uh, electricity bill if you are a post paid telephone bill even that is a kind of a credit because you are using a service without paying uh, up front so now the uh, uh, very fundamental question is is credit free see nothing comes free and as uh, sucheta was also saying whenever something is like uh, more uh, lucrative saying that you please buy one should actually doubt that why one is saying that so similarly credit is also not free it comes with a fee okay now what is the fee is generally the interest rate but now how much interest rate one has to pay is is the tricky part okay and india as a market is now evolving in on this front so it's very very important that how you manage your credit because managing credit is a, a very very important aspect it could be your best friend or if you don't manage it well it could be your worst enemy so it is very important to know more about how to manage your credit okay now uh, generally we go to any lending institution which could be banks or nbfc companies or mfis to take credit now how do they choose a customer i mean if you see from a lender standpoint how do they choose a customer whom to give a loan and whom not to give a loan okay so generally and how much credit to give that first is how do you choose a customer whether to give to this person then how much to give and then for what period they should give that loan for and what should be the interest rate what should be the terms of that loan and 
ultimately it all boils around the knowing the customer better so knowing your customer whom you are getting known how much and what is the interest rate so nowadays what is happening that banks are actually looking at your credit history or a credit score so we will talk about what a credit report and a credit score is but this is one of the uh, quantitative way of actually evaluating a customer so to know more about customer so what they see actually in a credit score is the financial discipline that whether the person is actually paying their uh, other loans have been paying it on time and uh, so that discipline what is the capability to repay and how much is the understanding of a credit now very basic thing is a good score means a good customer and a bad score means a bad customer or we can even say that a good score means a less risky customer or bad score means a high risk customer from a credit uh, standpoint so now who can give a score i mean who can give a credit score so actually a credit score can be given by a bureau a credit bureau credit bureau is so uh, is and how do they give it so basically credit bureau is an organization in india it's a rbi license business so only uh, organizations who have rbi license to give a credit score and a report can only give a spo uh, credit score and a report and how do they give it so basically they get data about the credits given by all the lending institutions so all these institutions submit data to a bureau so bureau has a very large database and then in that database they continuously get feedback from these institutions about how you are actually repaying your loans which new loans you are taking and this data from banks generally comes on a monthly basis so basically it is aligned to the repayment frequency so like in case of microfinance institutions there the frequency loan repayment frequency is weekly so there the data comes on weekly basis but generally on a bank Uh, side the data currently comes on a monthly basis and uh, so bureaus are private in india all the four bureaus are privately owned but they are approved by rbi now uh, talking about what is a credit score so as we said bureaus have the entire history of the country so they can actually talk uh, have the history of a specific person so from there they create the credit report of that person which gives the entire credit history of that individual or it could be an entity and then from credit score actually the crisp version is the credit score so basically credit score is based on the credit history and what is a score score is actually a three digit number which has been prescribed by rbi so the range could be between 300 to 900 300 is the lower score so uh, let me go to the next slide so it's a three digit number 300 to 900 basically indicating about the credit worthiness and the discipline so 300 to 500 is generally the indicates the poor credit score so what does that mean that there could have been defaults in repayment it could be one re default or multiple defaults there could be return of cases and it also shows that the person is actually very highly utilizing their sanction limits so this is what a low score means and what does it mean when a lender is actually looking at it that there is this is a risky customer so there is a possibility that your loan may get declined or even if the institution is giving you a loan because you are a risky customer they may give you loan at uh, i mean uh, not very attractive terms so the terms could be poor now 700 to 900 uh, generally means a good uh, credit score which shows that you have been regular in repaying your other loans there are no overdues and you are not utilizing your all sanction limits and what does that mean you may get a quicker loan and at better terms and obviously between 300 uh, 500 to 700 is a mid risk uh, customer so again uh, the similar uh, terminology can be arrived 
now how is a credit score calculated so credit score is actually a combination of if we look at the lower bar that how much have a person borrowed and how that person has repaid so the blue uh, chunk so these are the major portions which are actually uh, impacting your score then apart from that is that person having too many of unsecured loans and if the person has been applying for too many loans so suppose as an individual you are going to multiple loan banks for a loan now which shows that you are actually hungry for credit so if you are if every bank is actually checking with the credit bureau about the same person which means that person is credit uh, hungry so it actually impacts that person's uh, score now uh, when and what should you check for a credit in in a credit score i mean when we are talking about an individual so one should check uh, the credit score at least once a year or two months after a major event has happened so which could be if you have taken a loan if you have closed a loan or if you have settled any loan so you should check the report and why we are saying two months because as i said in the earlier slide these banks submit data to a bureau and it could be it's actually a monthly cycle but it may take 45 days so the safe period could be two months time so when you would know the impact of that particular event on your score or few months before applying for a large loan so that you know that what terms can you ask for with the bank when you are approaching a bank so uh, because in india it has been like there were regu- i mean a uh, normal or same terms for every individual but now the market is evolving quite a few banks are actually doing a risk based as i said in the earlier slide that if you are a good customer you can actually get better terms so as an individual it is very important that you know what is your score and then you should be aware that what terms can you ask for from a bank when you are going for a loan so uh, i mean uh, many people approach us saying that thinking that their credit score is a constant number it's a static number no it is not it 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 actually changes depending upon uh, the parameters which we spoke about and what should you look for when you actually take out your report so you should look at so generally when you take out your report i mean uh, as an individual you can go to like our website and you can take out your own report now what you should look at in that report is that whether all the loans which are actually appearing in the in that report are actually your loans whether all the repayment what is shown in that uh, report is actually correctly reflected and whether there is any closure or settlement i mean anything which is not correct so those are the things which you should look at that and then automatically the score is actually a derivative of all these uh, parameters so now uh, and if there is a problem then what what do you do i mean if you see that you take out your report and you find a problem in the report so basically like in our case you can actually contact our uh, product support so there is uh, and then you should mention the report id which is mentioned on the when you take out the report there is a report id so you mention that report id and uh, reach our customer support and uh, basically they will uh, we have a grievances uh, portal a b2c portal and this is the email id on which uh, you can uh, write your complaint and rather we even have a very intelligent uh, way in which you can actually define that in which portion of your report you are actually observing a problem so that way you can even pinpoint your problem saying that this is where i see the problem and uh, there is also a phone helpline which is available and as regards to closure of such uh, reports so generally as per the rbi because we are governed by rbi so rbi mandates that any such complaint needs to be closed within 30 day 30 days time so that's the outer limit 
now uh, talk, uh, talking about who we are uh, so we are crif i mark we are an rbi licensed credit bureau and today we have 2700 more than those uh, financial institutions as our members so which means that these institutions actually submit us data about whatever lending they are doing in their own uh, with their own customers we today run the largest bureau database and we are the only bureau who is operating in all the borrower segment so we have the history of whether it is a small loan which could be on a mfi rural segment or it could be on a retail consumer side or even a corporate loan so we have the complete history and we provide you provide scores for individuals as well as non individuals so which could be even corporate entities and uh, Uh, we even today generate more than 50 lakh credit reports on a monthly basis now we actually uh, have created i mean basically we are a homegrown bureau so we developed our technology in india for indian related data complexities and because of that we have the capability to be present in every borrower segment so we started from mfi bureau so we first we were the first ones to build a uh, mfi bureau in india and today we run world's largest uh, microfinance uh, bureau and then we graduated to consumer and commercial and uh, uh, having the full service bureau and because of a uh, lot of innovations which we have brought in we have actually won multiple awards and uh, talking about our investors so crif is uh, the majority investor in our company today and then we have in domestic investors from a banking segment sbi pnb and sidb and from the nbfcs it is edelweiss and shriram city plus even mfis have stake in our company talking about crif crif is actually a global leader uh, in a credit bureau and business information space they are operating in more than 50 countries and uh, crif actually uh, came to india i mean in 2010 that time they had 10% stake and in 2014 they actually increased their stake and uh, with that they have 72% stake in the company so i think with this i would like to stop uh, and what we thought to encourage people to see their report so today uh, one can actually go to our website site and take out their report and it cost 399 rupees so today we thought for this session uh, one can actually uh, we will give uh, announce uh, we thought of announcing a 50% discount so we would uh, be offering it at 199 rupees uh, now just few to uh, one or two more slides on that so basically a high credit score helps you to get a faster loan approval so this is uh, what is the uh, voucher uh, which uh, we thought of uh, distributing so you can take out your own report at uh, 199 rupees so the link is given here it is available online so uh, one can take that so i think uh, we can open it for questions what uh, one here Start by asking the first question. Okay. Yeah. I wanted to know about the grievance redressal mechanism. You said in 30 days it has to be redressed. So if we uh, write to you saying that there's something wrong in the credit report, or there is a loan that you haven't taken, what is the process that you follow, and how is this data shared with the other three credit bureaus? Actually, what happens is if uh, a complaint comes to us, so the first, see why a report could be wrong. So there, there could be only two reasons. One is that it's a wrong match at a credit bureau. See, as we said, credit bureau has the entire database. Now, whenever a request is coming, as a credit bureau, we are searching for this individual or an entity in the bureau database, and then giving up that. So it could be a match problem that credit. bureau has not been able to find the right record so that could be one problem the other problem could be that the data from a bank came wrong 
okay so what happens in if it is the first problem uh, so cheta so in that case it would be resolved within the credit bureau itself and uh, generally it should get resolved in i would say one few hours time so that is the simple case now if it is a problem wherein the problem is not of matching but actually the way the data was reported by the bank so in that case we as a bureau approach that bank saying that this is the problem this is what the customer is saying but this is what the data you have submitted now the bank actually then checks their records whether uh, what uh, i mean how this wrong data reporting happened and why the customer is saying so there could be cases wherein the customer then directly because the bank may directly talk to the customer that why the customer believes that it is it is not the right data so there is actually a direct uh, conversation or you know, uh, discussions which may happen between the customer and the bank and then the bank would ultimately correct or reconcile with the customer that this is the right record or maybe they will get convinced and they will correct the record and then the corrected data actually flows to basically it is supposed to uh, flow to all the bureaus so when so there is no as of now there is no interlinkage between the cics so it is the bank right in was supposed to give data to all the bureaus and it is actually happening now and maybe in the earlier years of credit bureau it was not happening but now uh, there is good awareness and with that rbi mandate of last year january 2015 i think that problem is more or less resolved i would not say fully resolved but yeah large extent anyone else has questions i think my colleagues have mics hello yeah um uh who are your uh, competitors uh, you mentioned there are four uh, four other companies who give the credit score yeah and uh, is the credit score same for all the companies suppose i apply with someone else will it be the same and uh, what is a civil record this is my third question so uh, so civil was the first credit bureau which was set up in india so and civil started in 2004 and as i said it's a rbi licensed business so till and in 2010 only rbi gave further three licenses so that way civil uh, crefimark equifax and experian these are the four organizations which are actually authorized to run a credit bureau in india now coming to second part of your question uh, so score what would be the score in each of these segments so score range has been defined by rbi that each credit bureau has to score an individual in 300 to 900 range so that range has been prescribed by rbi but each bureau would use their own logic so while the parameters would be same but the weightage plus what a bureau does also is based on those parameters which i spoke about we also check in the data, uh, credit bureau database that how a look alike profile actually behaved so basically credit credit bureau score is actually a predictive thing which is predicting about your future basis the history so it also is a parameter of how much data that bureau has on its credit bureau database so it's a unique thing about each bureau so it would be similar but it would not be same so like a high risk customer would should and assuming the data is same with all the four bureaus should be a high risk in the other bureau also but there are uh, tricky things in india like uh, if the bureau does not have all the data see some of the i mean earlier records in some public sector banks or nbfcs if that data quality is not poor i mean if the data quality is poor then the bureau may not be able to work with that data quality so even in that case so there are multiple parameters which which can lead to a little different score amongst the bureaus also hello yeah uh, is it a, a computerized or it is a manual process no 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 it is fully computerized it is a statistical it's data science so it's a very very uh, highly automated process oh. there is no manual intervention in the score uh, i want to ask you one question madam yeah uh, uh, about two months back from one of the experience uh, credit uh, 
rating zero. I got an email uh, stating that I, we want to uh, give you a complimentary credit rating. So I opened the mail and some 50, 60 questions were there. And after I asked, uh, reply all the questions, then the score came that you are no, you, uh, you are not borrowing history because I have not taken any loan in my life, hmm. and because you are no borrowing history, so credit rate cannot be given to you. So that means that whether egg is first or chicken is first, <laughs> that one. Is So I would like to answer that, sir. So see, it is possible. So as a bureau, the way the credit bureau history gets, credit bureau gets built, database gets built, is only when you have taken a loan. Only then your data would be there with the bureau and bureau can score you. So that is a very, very fundamental thing. Now, if you have not taken any loan, so as a bureau, we cannot give you a credit score because there is no history about you. But now there are sciences which are available and even we do that. So if the person is new to credit, which means in a credit bureau environment, the terminology is that if there is no hit found for your record, based on some of the data which you would have given actually at that moment, based on that, we can actually look at a look-alike profile in our bureau database and still score you. But then we say that it is a new to credit score. So basically it is telling the lender something more about you because there is no history which is available. But we can say that this kind of a profile, generally if it, were, it came first time in our bureau database, how it performed. See basically score is telling a lender something more about you. That is the predictive power. So which is a technology which has now actually evolved. Yes, sir. I think you want to say something. See, they have asked my saving history. Everything I just replied. I don't have any uh, any wasting the money history. I have on the basis of this, can you not give me the credit score that the, I am eligible for this much loan, something like this? No, sir. I can't comment on that. I think it's uh, the other incumbent bureau, so I would not like to comment on that. But as I'm saying, the practice which we follow is that we could give a person a credit score if the person had taken any loan or a credit card. But otherwise, to we can give new to credit score, which could be based on the parameters which you spoke about. With the parameters that I have given, that would you would you give me the credit score, or you? Same thing. You because in your case, I have got to lose two hundred rupees. Mr. Sharma, you fill up this one. Yes, <laughs> sir. I think, uh, see, as I said, we will give new to credit score. So in your case, or all the people who don't have a credit score, right now, when that person actually, so the other thing which I just want to bring up, so. Uh, we actually offer these services, we call it on a B2B channel and a B2C channel. So we can provide these services to you also. So if you have taken any credit, then you should check with the bureau what, that, what is your score and whether it is correctly reflecting and all that stuff. But if you have not taken any score, uh, if you have not taken any loan, then there is no need for you to check your score with the bureau. But, but, but when actually a lender is looking at your case, suppose you applied for a loan to a, a bank, in that case, if a bank is lo uh, checking with us and we don't find a history about you, and if that bank wants to know something more about you, that's where we give that new to credit score. So right now we have not opened that service directly to individuals, but it is to our B2B channel. But we can have an offline discussion, sir, on this. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yes. Yeah, uh, madam, you said that uh, Sibyl was the first uh, credit bureau which was set up in 2004 and the rest of the three credit bureaus came in 2010. Mm -hmm. So what about the data availability of the previous years with, you, with these three uh, cr credit bureaus? Okay. Do they, are you on the same, uh, uh, do you have the same data or uh, uh, is there a level field, uh, level playing field or not? 
Yes. So, yeah, I would say yes. So, now there is a RBI mandate uh, that all the great institutions are are subcard mandatorily required to give data to all the four bureaus so the oh, the whole objective of that mandate was to bring data parity so that all the bureaus at least from data standpoint become come at par so the data parity is there now because all the institutions are supposed to submit data but there could be some historical records very old records maybe 2005 six kind of data because when this mandate came, uh, the mandate came that the bureau, uh, the institutions have to submit even the history. Okay, so the, even the history came, but many banks or many institutions would not have like say 2004 or 2005 data. But as a bank, they need to have seven year old data. So seven year old data, uh, we believe is good enough. Rather all the bureaus and internationally it is a proven thing that seven year history is good enough. Rather three year history is something which any lender looks at. So, from that standpoint, I mean, it is uh, all of us are at the uh, at par right now. And the way we have actually developed our technology today, we run the largest database. So, uh, I mean, okay. Okay. secondly, uh, you had mentioned that uh, banks provide you with uh, data. Yes. And uh, there was some news report uh, which I had read which said that uh, even uh, uh, utility suppliers like uh, telecom operators and uh, uh, electricity yes. uh, uh, undertakings, they also will be providing data about uh, defaulters and other people to yes, yes. credit information. Yes, it's yes. started yet? Uh, no, it has not yet started, but there was a committee at RBI and uh, wherein, uh, so basically this had emerged from a Nachiket Moore committee, wherein and internationally also this has been see, uh, seen that if a person does not have a credit bureau history, sir, uh, to even loop in your answer, so if a person does not have a credit bureau history, the other means to check the credit score of that person or to predict the credit behavior of that person is to look at how that person is actually paying his or her utility bills or tele uh, phone bills and all these things. So there was a recommendation that even this data should come in so that it would make the entire ecosystem more strong. So then after that there was a committee at RBI and even I was part of that committee. So finally what we concluded that telecom data, postpaid data would start coming into a bureau. Okay, because prepaid is not a credit as such. So it was decided that the postpaid data, which is actually a form of a credit, will start will start flowing into a bureau. But right now it has not yet started in, but it will happen soon. On the utility front, it has not been started because of actually a complexity and the scenario which exists in India is that many times we have multiple houses which we give on rent. So the house could be on the owner's name, so the electricity bill may come on owner's name, but maybe the tenant is not paying, so the history of the owner should not get uh, like na, uh, affected. So because of that, right now, we decided that utilities, right now it's, it is not in the radar, but we will find a solution that how we can actually you know, uh, overcome that problem. So right now it is the telecom data which is in radar. Just to add to that, I think we in Money Life played a big role in ensuring that all the credit information companies began to get data mm -hmm. because we did a study and we found that there were huge variances because all institutions were not giving money and then we wrote a memorandum to the RBI which you'll find on our website after which they set up the Adityapuri committee and then they forced lending institutions to ensure that they give the data to at least one CIC and that's equally shared. Yes, I think uh, because I think this, uh, I mean what Sujeta mentioned was very, very important because when as a bureau we were approaching, I mean it's a biased view and when it comes from an organization like Money Life, so it's an independent organization and they are talking about customer's voice. So it has more impact at RBI. So I would like to thank Sujeta. Yeah. Sorry to miss. Are you doing this credit for the company also? Yes. Uh, 
complaints you are doing uh, any company, uh, company in India? Yes. So actually, uh, rating and credit score, these are two different things. So what we do is credit score and not the credit rating. Credit score for the company? company? Yes, yes. Uh, second question, if the government is monitoring, which are having the bad ratings of the company? So actually, uh, the way it happens is, as I said, as a bureau, all the data is coming to us. So whenever somebody is actually underwriting to that particular institution, that company, they should check with the bureau. So, and once they check with the bureau, they get all the history. So that way, there is an ecosystem which is available. <coughs> but whether people are using it or not using it is a second thing. But it is possible. Why is some corporates I think it's not one but 17 See, I think uh, as Sucheta said, uh, I think are you uh, because there are multiple things. When such a big loan is given, it's not only, rather actually on the institution basis, we are the only bureau who is giving the credit score. So, uh, I mean, <coughs> and we launched it last year. Before that, for institution, even the incumbent bureau does not give a score for the institution. So it was a rating of the company which is given by uh, different institutions. So uh, there is a lot of action, a mixing of these things that rating and score. But to answer Answer your question that mechanism do exist in the uh, thing but how uh, I think the, those specific cases which you spoke about is I think a lot of discussions and I would like uh, to ask you one question uh, nowadays digital currency is a, a emerging market so what are your views on uh, digital currency just as cryptocurrency so called uh, the I, most have, I have no views on that for the simple reason that it's not legal. It's not that anybody can but issue. But it is it. not illegal also. Yeah, because RBI has not taken a decision. Okay. The, the, no, this no. is a. So RBI is uh, uh, appointed sorry. a committee for that. No. The two things RBI has put out a clear statement saying that they discourage cryptocurrencies. And no, I have evidence that RBI has yeah, put. I a want to argue, committee. or you want to hear an answer? Okay. So you let me complete. So one is that we think. Cryptocurrencies, there are Bitcoin failures around the world. There are two aspects to it. One is the cryptocurrency itself, which is virtually like an underground, it is unregulated, and the RBI has clearly put out a statement that they discourage and it is dangerous. That is one. Second, the technology that they use is called blockchain technology, which is increasingly being looked at by institutions and central banks around the world because the technology is fantastic and that technology prevents cloning and duplication. So all over the world, the technology behind Bitcoins and cryptocurrencies is something that a lot of research and investment is going on. In fact, so much so that the Bitcoin founder was an unknown guy. There have been movies and serials about him. He's now suddenly come up, somebody who has come up and said, I am the founder of Bitcoin. And he has now applied for 100 or 200 patents because with blockchain technology being recognized, he thinks he can take advantage of it. So what started as a whole anonymous universe with whoever not being known, you now have one guy, an Australian, who's come forward and said, I'm the one who founded it and I want all these patents. Even that is a gray area because there's still not enough proof whether he actually founded it and whether he's legally and correctly claiming those patents or not. He's Mr. Craig White. Right. So you know all about it. Yeah, I so know. So then you should know that it's still a gray. Oh, but uh, in terms of investment, what you are talking about? Up to you, sir. We, we discourage anything that is not 100% safe at Money Life Foundation. Okay. If you are convinced, you should go ahead. It's your money. Okay. Thank you. 
this credit scoring will be for myself. Suppose I want to find out the credit scoring of a person like Vijay Mahalia. Now we know about him, so I'm not interested. But some other person I want to find out. Will I be able to do it? So actually, this is a very, very private information. So unlike, uh, so it's a confidential data privacy and data secret. So we fall under those norms. So you cannot take uh, a credit history or a report of any other individual. So basically one can take uh, basis the consent of that individual. So when a bank or a lending institution is taking your report, it's basis because you have given them your consent because the form which we sign, the loan application form, in that one of the requirement is that they are allowed to check your credit history. So this is the signature which you give to the bank, basis that they can check your history. So we as a bureau cannot divulge your information with anybody else except taking your uh, in consent. Uh, you are giving credit score to MS? Yes. So now say for example my company wants to uh, give goods on credit to another MSME and I want to check the credit score. Yes. Because uh, their customer, yes, yes. Uh, I, I'll be uh, indirectly lending to yes. their customer yes so can i can i check the credit score through your bureau yes definitely so okay. many banks have started using us plus there are such requests so like here when you take the credit history of that uh, entity you have to take the consent of them so you need to take their consent saying that you will check their credit history with us or you could ask them that they should take their report and submit it as part of whatever requirements you are getting. Rather, this should be encouraged because you should know what is their credit history because at times they don't disclose. The other thing what we find actually in MSME and why many banks are actually using, uh, have made us as a primary bureau now is because at times when they actually apply for loan or when you are having such engagement, they may hide some information. They may not even disclose that they have some other directors or something on whose name they may not, they may have taken some loans. So when you take such a report or a score from us, we cover all of them. So we can give you the comprehensive history and score of the entire entity along with their promoter and director's information. What is the extent of your coverage of the entire MSME universe in India? So Wha we get data from, as I mentioned, uh, 2,700 institutions are submitting data with us. So it should be almost 100%. 100%? Yes. Okay. And, and as I said, actually commercial is a big focus for us and we are getting lot of traction. So uh, uh, in commercial score, um, commercial segment, we are the only bureau who is giving score. We also give the promoter and director's information also in the same report. Plus we also check in the ROC site and give that information also in the same report. So whatever are the index of charges against that company, that also comes in the same report. Okay, so yeah. uh, thank you, thank you, ma'am, and thank you, sir. <laughs> With this question, we come to the end of this today's session. A big thank you to Miss Kalpana Malde for giving beautiful answers to the, all the questions. Thank you.